Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Age in the Philippines, is it something to worry about? Um, the first thing you'll probably notice is I'm probably one of the few people who even bring up the subject. Um, I would say it's been tied with the um, birth control issues and the Catholic Church that the Philippines have had. Um, my personal view is that data has been suppressed. Um, and basically data gathering has been suppressed. There is a lot of reasons for why, uh, but they'll come back to the same ones. Um, and I know some people don't like my opinion on religion, but this is a prime example of where it's been interfering, where it's not needed. Um, the Philippines has pretty much not kept an eye on this issue. Uh, I remember the statistics coming out a few years ago, and I instantly looked at them and thought, well, that's not even close. Um, not because I'm some scientific expert, but the amount that they said there was for the whole country was actually less than I would expect in a town in the UK, um, where the UK obviously has a lot of access to uh, birth control, but also has a high population of casual sex. Um, the Philippines is no different in some ways because a lot of it is related to the call center industry, the sex industry. Um, I would say the sex industry is a lot bigger in the Philippines. As such, it has a, the potential um, to be almost pandemic in it, it, rela relation to AIDS. Um, and the fact is, it's still only in its infancy on the information. So the answer is yes, I would be worried about it. Um, if you meet the right person, they're very unlikely to be engaging in casual uh, relations. Um, a friend of mine, well, that's probably true, it's quite common for people to still be virgins getting married even at older ages um, because some people take it serious this is the whole thing with religion see I have no issue with people with that level of commitment to religion um, the issue I have are those that are selective on it you know um, commit a crime on a Friday back in um, for comp confession on the Sunday and then a hey, Monday you can go and do it again I don't agree with that what I agree with is actually people stick to the book that they um, decide to follow. So um, I would say be careful out there. Because um, now I know some people are instantly going to think about, oh, that's because people are going to go with this sex trade and all this. I know guys that have met women that they didn't know their history. Um, I remember a guy years ago where his partner had basically um, ripped him off financially but was also involved with multiple other guys she also had children she had very likely to have a husband or a boyfriend in the background all of these add risk to a relationship um, this is why it's very very important to uh, just be careful um, now how you deal with it is up to you um, would I advise your partner having an AIDS test before you engage in sexual relations, that's for you, you to have that conversation. I'm not your doctor. Um, also, it might be an awkward one to bring up around the, around the dinner table. But I would say, historically, I would check people first. Learn a bit about a partner before you engage in something that has a potential to be life-threatening or life-changing. Life-changing is a polite way of saying it these days. Uh, it's PC. Um, but just be careful out there. You know, just do, use this. You know, that using other parts of the anatomy for thinking is often where a lot of these problems come from. Um, that's why always think. Think before you do anything. All right, thanks for watching.